Hey guys, what's up? I'm here today. Uh, <coughs> forgive me, uh, I have a cold. But I'm here today to do a review on a new toy, a new figure from the Dark Knight Rises line. Uh, this is the Ultra Hero Batman. And real firing EMP blaster. I doubt that's a real EMP, but still very cool. Um... <coughs> it looks like it's that weapon that uh, we see in the preview of the Dark Knight Rises. And we see here it comes with some batarangs and some little things to shoot out of the EMP blaster. Also, it lights up when you push the button on it. Let's see? Yeah. I like the packaging. It's pretty awesome. It has Batman like you know coming out almost like he's trying to come out of the box it's pretty cool <coughs> well I like the detail on this figure he stands about I think what 10 inches tall he has a cloth cape um, let's turn it around and look at the back here you know there goes the whole thing in the outline of the movie Yep. It's pretty cool. <coughs> Two projectiles. Giant Batman massive arsenal. <laughs> and coming soon is the Bone Basher Bane. I wish he was in the store when I got this Batman, but he wasn't, but I'll probably end up getting him later anyway. So that's cool. I must take him out of the package. And see what this Batman is all about. <clears throat> Alright guys, I'm back. And uh, here is Batman out of the box. Um, he doesn't have much articulation at all. No knees bend. No elbows bend. But still it looks amazing. The sculpt and everything. I mean, look at the detail the head it's movie accurate kind of like a uh, plush material not plush but like I don't know how to des describe rubbery almost you just push it in uh, very cool uh, holds batarangs see like that uh, the battering here is very rubbery see you can, like bend it all the way not even trying goes right into his hand like that, like he's gonna throw it, you know. Yeah. Um, the cape is cloth. That's what I really like about this figure. Also, it's not that's not that hard plastic, it's the cloth cape. Um take this out of his hands here. It comes with let me stand him up. <clears throat> Second. And since his knees don't bend, he has to like stand a certain way. Or else he'll tip right over. Alright, <coughs> he came with this EMP blaster. See, push that red button, shoots out. I stopped it from shooting. I will have a test subject for it in a minute. Let me set him to the side. To the side. <coughs> and this cold is killing me. So yeah, he came with this that goes in the EMP blaster. And then he also came with this. It'd be cool if it had a rope for like a grappling hook, but I guess it's just a uh, a bat EMP. Kind of cool, I guess, for his tech gear. See, goes right in, and then shoots out. And then for head to hand combat, he has a bayonet. And you see it has this little part right there. This slides right in <coughs> for combat. Look at that. Now, the complaint I have about this figure is this right here.
the gun is in. Cool, right? Look at that. Let's put his EMP blaster or his EMP grenade inside. All right. There it is. It's in there. Looks cool. Ready for action. You know what I mean? Put a battering in this other hand. Red kick Bane's ass, right? But look, he cannot stand up because it is too top heavy. I'm not gonna look at that. It just tips over. That sucks, but other than that, I mean, this is still cool. I mean, I guess if you're a little kid and you're gonna be playing with it. It'd be cool, you know, you're running around like, yeah, I'm Batman. But other than that, though, yeah. <coughs> this only thing I don't like about it is it's top heavy. For the, for the toy, this just bends right over. If I don't hold it up, try to get in some type of stance with it. Nope, it's not happening. Not if I try the other way. Nope. So... I like the battery rings though. This now this EMP gun, I do like it. I wish it would fit better with the stance. But other than that, it's pretty cool. You know, I mean, it has the light up thing going on. It has the blaster, the bayonet. I mean, Batman is ready to definitely kick some ass. Let me take this out of his hand. <clears throat> I like the detail right here. It's pretty cool. The belt is like a rubber material see it moves um, this is like a hard plastic very cool figure though I really like it um, for a average toy I would give it in the average range I give it like a 7 out of 10 I mean this wrist spins this one does not so All around though, this is a very cool 10 inch Batman. If you are a Batman fan, I think you should get it. Uh, put it on your TV or on your shelf or whatever, stand him up. He can sit down and just chill out. But yes, this looks like a little real Batman in your house. I like it a lot. So, yes. I got this at Walmart for $19.99. You should get it too if you're a Batman fan. I recommend it. Hey, how come you didn't review me? I'm gonna kill you, Batman. Not if I EMP your suit. I'm sorry. So yep, that's my review on the Ultra Hero Batman from The Dark Knight Rises. And that was our test subject with the EMP missile against Iron Man. As you can see, it did not knock him down at all. So yes, um, this is my review on the Ultra Hero Batman. I'm Charlie2621. I'm out.